Hi, I am Revati. I am working as an assistant professor in Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science in SLS College of Engineering. Today, we are going to discuss the topic about data link layer. The data link layer enables the physical transmission of data. The data protocol unit name a data link layer is frame. This layer mainly works with physical addressing, that means MAC address and error notification. Ethernet point to point protocol and frame relay. So, one or two examples are given below. Data link layer protocols are generally responsible to simply ensure and confirm that the bits and bytes that are received are identical to the bits and bytes being transferred. It is basically a set of specifications that are used to, for implementation of data link layer just above the physical layer of the open system interconnection model. Some common data link layer protocols. There are various data link protocols that are required for wide area network and modem connection. Logical link control is a data link protocol of local area network. Some of the data link protocols are given below. Data link protocols under comes SDLC, Synchronous Data Link Protocol, HDLC, High Level Data Link Protocol, SLIP, Serial Line Interface Protocol, Triple P, Point to Point Protocol, LCP, Link Control Protocol, LAP, Link Access Procedure, NCP, Network Control Protocol. SDLC, Synchronous Data Link Protocol, Control Protocol. It, in computer networks is a communication protocol used in the data link layer to ensure synchronous, reliable and error-free data transfer between devices. It is used primarily in IBM systems network architecture and involves steps like establishing a connection, a data transfer with error checking and terminating the connection. High level data link control. It is a bit oriented protocol used for reliable data transfer over point to point and multi point links featuring frame encapsulation, error deduction and flow control. It supports various operational modes ensuring synchronization and proper sequencing of data frames. The serial line internet protocol SLIP is a simple protocol used to transmit IP packets over serial connections such as dial-up or serial cables. It lacks advanced features like error deduction and is largely suppressed by more robust protocols like triple P. The point-to-point -point protocol is used to establish a direct connection between two network nodes providing feature like authentication, encryption and compression. It is commonly used for internet dial-up connections and support multiple network layer protocols. Link control protocol is a component of triple P that means point to point protocol that establishes configure and test the data link connection between two network devices. It negotiates options handles authentications and manage link quality before the actual network layer protocol data is transmitted. Link access procedure protocol. It is a protocol used in the data link layer to ensure reliable communication and error control over a network. It is a part of the HDLC family and includes variants like link access procedure balance for X.25 networks, LAPD, link access procedure for the D channel for ISDN. 
Network control protocol is a component of triple P that allows multiple network layer protocols to be used on the same communication link by establishing and configuring different network layer protocols. Now students are going to discuss about data link layer. Hello everyone and myself Rochana coming to your Prima and Dari. We are here to have a group discussion about our data link layer. Do anyone know about the data link layer? I know. Data link layer is the second layer from bottom between OSI. OSI means open system interconnection networking architecture. This is responsible for no to no delivery of data. The major role is ensure that error free transmission of information. It is crucial for Logical, uh, logical link uh, control and another one is MAC uh, media access controller. The logical link uh, control uh, is known as uh, multi-indexing. Uh, the flow of data among the application and uh, uh, other services into the LLC. Uh, the responsible for the reducing errors and error message and the re-acknowledgement uh, as well. The media access control. The media access control sub-layer uh, is the device uh, interact with the the responsible of addressing. Uh, the messages, the data are uh, delivered in the packet format. Uh, uh, Can you all explain the function of data link layer? Yes, there are a lot of functions of data link layer. Some are framing and addressing. Framing, the packet received from the network layer is also known, is known as the data link layer. At the center side, the DNA receives packet from the network layer and divides them into small, small parts. Then sends each frame bit by bit to the physical layer. It also attacks some special bytes for error control and addressing at the header and the end of the frame. At the receiver end, the DNS takes from the physical layer, organizes them into the frame and sends them to the network layer. And another function is addressing. The data link layer encapsulates the source and the destinations are MAC address, physical address is the header of each of the frame to ensure the node to node or entry. The MAC address is the unique hardware address that is assigned to the device by manufacturing up. So, the other functions are error control and flow control. In error control, the data get corrupted due to the various reasons like noise, automation, etc. So, it is responsible for the data link layer. So, the error is uh, detected and the corrector uses the uh, error correction and detection. And in the flow control, if the receiver's receiving speed is lower than the sender's center speed, then this can lead to the overflow in the receiver's buffer and some frames. Is there any protocol?